writer's block. Yesterday the words were flowing. I could describe a thousand flowers and the colour of the stormy sky and the dance of a rare butterfly. But suddenly, with a silent clunk, I receive a stiff stoic sentence imposed by a judge and jury I've never met. My anal arsenal of words has been stolen. Bollocks, if you're a poet and you've got no words, what can you do? I'm looking for inspiration from my chakra, my dog, my cat, the smelly man up the market with the tracksuit trousers up round his chest, but I've hit the marathon runner's wall. It's bent me nose and chipped me tooth. I'm starting to panic and that's the truth. Oh, a rhyme. Maybe all is not lost. It's got to rhyme no matter the cost. Don't even think how preposterous it would be to be preoccupied by words. You see, in a dry patch, I normally just change into me shorts. Dry, not wet. A patch, a spot, a piece of cloth. Wait a minute. At last, I read Jenny Eclair holds a solution for a dry patch that could help me in my minute of need. Her demonstration is guaranteed. Pop it on my downstairs is and my vagina will feel tickety-boo. Maybe Vagisil is not going to remedy my dry episode. Because I've got no rash, no soreness affecting my gait, I don't feel ill in any way. I've got no red flaky skin that burns. I'll just have to wait my turns for flowing words to blossom our yearns. From these lessons I will learn so that no matter how stern I look, I will cherish every time I chisel out a poem.